In this video, we demonstrate our material point method with snow simulation. In this section, we outline the basic steps of our material point method. It is a hybrid Eulerian Lagrangian technique that uses particles together with a regular gravitation grid as follows. A particle is the primary representation and it has position, velocity, and deformation gradient. We first rasterize mass and velocity to the grid. As an aside, on the first step, we compute initial particle volumes. These are used when we compute grid based forces on all other steps. We use these forces to explicitly update grid velocities. Then we modify the velocities by collision response. They are then used as a right-hand side for our implicit self. At this point, we transition back to dealing with particles. We update deformation gradients, particle velocities, and perform analogous collision step on the particles. Finally, we update particle positions. We now illustrate our method on a variety of snowballs. First, we drop a snowball on the ground. We can also smash a snowball into the wall. We can even make the snow stick to the wall. More impressively, our method can also handle snowballs hitting each other. By varying our model's parameters, we can produce different types of snow. For instance, changing the snow strength parameters let us choose between powdery and chunky snow. On the other hand, changing his model varies between soft and crunchy snow. Finally, changing the hardening parameter varies between brittle and ductile behaviors. Here we demonstrate the spray behavior with snowplow. Now we destroy a castle with a cannonball. A unique property of so-called packing snow is sticking under compression. Here is some real video reference of this behavior. Snow can also be a powerful storytelling tool when characters interact with it. 